Teacher's Pets by Dale Ann Dodds, illustrated by Marilyn Hafner. Monday was sharing day in Miss Fry's class. You may bring something special, said Miss Fry. May we share a pet? Winston asked. Yes, said Miss Fry, but just for the day. On Monday, Winston brought in his pet rooster. I'll call him Red. He eats corn and he crows. The neighbors say he crows too much. What a wonderful pet, said Miss Fry. We're happy he can visit us today. But that afternoon, after all the children had left, there was Red still sitting on his roost near Miss Fry's desk. She sprinkled corn in Red's dish, then locked the door and went home to her quiet little house. On Tuesday, Winston told Miss Fry, the neighbors wonder if Red could stay at school for a while. Of course, said Miss Fry, how lucky for us. The next Monday was Patrick's turn. My tarantula's name is Vincent. He likes to eat bugs and hide inside my mother's slippers. What a wonderful pet, said Miss Fry. Don't forget to take Vincent home with you at the end of the day. But that afternoon, after all the children had left, there was Vincent, still sitting in his jar on Miss Fry's desk. She gave Vincent a big juicy bug, sprinkled corn on Red's dish, and locked the door and went home to her quiet little house. On Tuesday, Patrick told Miss Fry, my mother says Vincent likes her slippers too much. We're wondering if he can stay at school for a few days. Of course, said Miss Fry. How lucky for us. The next week, Roger brought in his cricket. His name is Mo, said Roger. He eats leaves from the garden and sings chirp, chirp all night long. What a wonderful pet, said Miss Fry. That afternoon, after all the children had left, Miss Fry noticed Mo sitting in his box on the table. Miss Fry looked at Mo. He almost seemed to smile. Welcome to our class, Mo. Right before her eyes, he did a huge somersault up, up in the air. Bravo, said Miss Fry. She gave fresh green leaves to Mo and a big juicy bug to Vincent sprinkled corn in Red's dish, then locked the door and went home to her quiet little house. The next day, Roger said to Miss Fry, My mother says Mo chirps too much. He's welcome to visit as long as he likes, said Miss Fry. And so it went. Aaliyah shared her pet goat named Gladys. It said, Bah! and ate her sister's homework. Amanda shared her pet Dashin. It liked to chew bones and the pillows on her Aunt Judy's new sofa. Jerry brought in his pet boa constrictor. It never made a sound. No one knew exactly what it liked to eat, but Jerry said his father's expensive tropical fish had suddenly disappeared one day. There was Megan's cat, Mitchell's mice, Daniel's ducks, and Tom's iguana, Frankie's frog, Lily's monkey, Terrace's turtle, and something square and fuzzy that Avery brought in. It looks like a kitchen sponge, said Bruce. A really old kitchen sponge. It's my pet, said Avery, and that was that. Before long, Miss Fry's classroom was bursting with the happy noises of all the children's pets. Quack, quack, quack. Meow, meow. cock a doodle doo Ribbit, ribbit. Bah. Squeak, squeak. Chirp, chirp. Woof, woof. On parents' night, the mothers and fathers walked around the classroom with great big smiles on their faces. Isn't it great, they said. 
that Miss Fry loves pets so. Only Roger's cricket sat quietly in his box. You must miss your garden, Miss Fry said. Chirp, said Mo softly. He crawled under one of his shiny green leaves. On the last day of school, Miss Fry's class had a party with balloons, hats, and ice cream cups. Goodbye, children, Miss Fry sang out. Have a nice summer, and don't forget to take home your pets. One by one, the children disappeared, and with them went their pets. No more pets, said Miss Fry. She looked around the quiet, empty room. Then Miss Fry noticed a box sitting on her desk. She peeked inside. A little face looked up at her. It almost seemed to smile. A note inside read, Dear Miss Fry, please take care of Mo. He likes you best. Roger. How lucky for me, said Miss Fry. Mo did a huge somersault up, up in the air. Miss Fry carried her new pet to her quiet little house and placed him in the garden among the rainbow of roses. That night, Miss Fry opened her window. She climbed into bed. She turned off the lamp. By the light of the moon from outside in the garden came a happy noise. Chirp, chirp. Welcome home, Mo. What a wonderful pet you are. The End